Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name's Tess Lark, and today I'm going to show you how I film my art tutorial videos. I think that YouTube is a great way for artists to earn extra income and to just get their name out there and expand their brands. So if anybody is interested in starting a YouTube channel, I definitely think you should, and I really hope that you'll find this video useful. I'll make sure that I list all the gear that I use down below from my camera to my phone to my ring light setup and all of that good stuff. So if anybody's curious about all of those specs, all of that will be down there for you. Don't forget to give this video a like if you do find it helpful and let's just hop right in. Before I even pull out my camera, I start by kind of cleaning up my working space and getting all of the materials that I'm going to need for my project. So here I'm just putting down some silicone mats just to make sure I don't get resin on my desk, cleaning some stuff up so I've got a little bit more space, and then I'm going to go ahead and collect everything that I'm going to need for my wax paper to my resin, popsicle sticks, and all of that good stuff. And I find it really useful just to have all of the materials that I'm going to use for my projects before I start filming so I don't need to stop filming or have blank spaces in my film where I need to edit it out. And then next I'm going to go ahead and set up my ring light as well as put my camera on the tripod. And I have been filming with the Canon EOS M50 and I like it a lot. But this video is actually filmed on the new iPhone 14. After I've got my camera set up and I've got my ring light set up, I'm going to go ahead and suit up with all my safety gear that I need while I'm working with resin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start my project. When I'm actually crafting, I prefer to be off camera because then I really don't have to worry about how I look and I can just focus on the task at hand which in this case is making this resin beach wave cutting board. So I'm just gonna go ahead and craft, but I'm keeping an eye on my camera to make sure that everything is in focus and that you can see what I'm doing on the screen. And throughout filming, I do like to change the camera angle a little bit, either zoom it in or zoom it out, just to give a little bit of some variation in the final clips. And changing up the angles and changing up those shots can just help to keep things pretty visually interesting and help keep people entertained and engaged in watching your videos. And if you are interested in how this tutorial came out, I will have it up just a couple days after I post this video. And I'll also have a video about how I edit my art tutorials, so make sure that you check those out once you're done with this video. While I'm filming my videos for YouTube, I will often take my phone just to make little clips of some interesting segments that I can then repurpose and either use for shorts here on YouTube or reels on Instagram and also TikTok posts as well. I really think it's important as a content creator and as an artist to try to get the most out of your time. So if you can get those little clips that you can use on other social media platforms while you're making a longer form video, I definitely think that's a good use of your time. And because this particular project needed to cure between layers, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this alone overnight and then I'll finish it up the next day. And again, keeping myself off camera while I'm actually crafting means that I can really just enjoy crafting. I can listen to music, watch some YouTube videos, listen to a podcast as I go, and I don't have to worry too much about narrating my speech or anything like that. And I can just do that later when I edit the video. And I'm really curious to know how many of you watching me have your own YouTube channel or how many of you guys are thinking about starting a YouTube channel leave me a comment down below I'm so curious and again as I'm filming I'm just kind of checking quickly to make sure that things are in focus make sure that my piece is in focus and also switching up the angle as I go another quick tip that I'd like to give you if there's ever a moment that you need to step away from your project because you forgot something you got to grab something out of the other room it's a great idea to go ahead and stop filming so then you don't have to cut that dead space out later and then once my piece is fully cured and it's finished and ready to go, I'll go ahead and make myself as presentable as I can to get on camera and film an intro and an ending for my video. And when I'm setting up to film my intro and ending for my YouTube videos, I go ahead and one more time sort of clean up the background. And I like to have the ring light set up right directly behind the camera. So I'll go ahead and cheese and talk to you guys for a little bit on camera talk about the project and finish it up. And I'll also stop recording between where I make the ending and the intro for my videos just to make it easier to align the clips and make it easier through the editing process. 
And I know, I know, I know that talking to a camera can feel a little silly and a little intimidating, intimidating? <laughs> intimidating, but just pretend like you're talking to one of your friends and trying to explain your process. And then after that, I'll go ahead and take my piece out to a natural light area with a pretty background and I'll take a couple shots to include in my finished video. So in a nutshell, that's how I film my videos. And I'm also planning on uploading another video that shows how I edit my YouTube tutorials. So that's gonna be going up the same time that this one does. So if you're curious about that as well, make sure to check that out after this video. I really hope that you found this video informative. And if you did, leave me a comment down below, leave me some sort of flower emoji just to confuse anybody who hasn't made it this far in the video. As always friends, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I really hope that you found this video informative. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Again, I'll have all the gear that I use for this video linked down below so you can check that out as well. And I will see you in the next one.